they're a pretty, pretty light structure. Don't don't jump on it. No, <laughs> you can see you can see that it's a soft soft material here. Yeah. The whole thing is carbon. This is actually this is actually an aircraft material that um, uh, they, they they put on and they they uh, heat it and it it, it, it shrinks oh, okay. into, so it becomes very tight. So this is carbon frame, but that's kind of Ca carbon frame. Yeah, really, really light. Like one of the one of the one of the structural advantages one of the structural advantages with the wing is it's supported in a number of places, whereas a conventional soft sail, you have to support between the two corners. So you have you have all of that load to pull pull the line tight, but with this it's 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 split. To become become this way. Well, you know, really. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's something pretty special. Really special. Over and down. You see that? Um, this but is this, the uh, lease. We have, we have uh, individual. This is, this is, these are individual flaps. Oh. They can, they can, they can be, they can be trimmed like an aeroplane. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, uh -huh. so, so like, uh, like flap. So, so like you can, flap. you can put, um, you can put more camber into this section here. Yeah. And you don't need to put camber into this section here, for example, or, or, or the opposite. How many flaps? So you, you can you can shift you can shift the force now the overall move, force on, on, on the wing. You can shift that very quickly up and down the wing. For example, I, I give you an example. In light winds, you can put you can put more shape into the top of the wing very quickly and shift the shift the healing force up. And for strong winds, you can you can um, camber the bottom and 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 make the top very flat. Like like this, almost almost what we call in English feather the top, and and that will shift the the um, uh, uh, healing healing force down the wing. So you, so you can generate quite high loads uh, in various places on the wing, and um, uh, any any aerodynamic structure or any structure actually has a what we call a lift coefficient, <coughs> and a, a, a lift coefficient for a wing sail like this. You can generate something like two, or perhaps even three times the the, the lift coefficient that you can in a soft sail. So, so in other words, a wing does not actually have to be as big as a soft sail to generate the, the same force. But it's very difficult to to, to take now to uh, the manier. What do you say? It's the very good, to, very difficult to use now this uh, kind of uh, wing. Uh, well, actually, actually. Wind technology is, is not new. You know, it's, it's I mean, it's wind technology, you, Joseph knows a lot more than me, but wind technology has been well known, or the, or the um, application of it, well known since probably around the 1930s. And it hasn't, it actually hasn't changed that much. So, so you can, you can um, predict shapes and so forth pretty accurately. Whereas with a soft sail, the sail is moving, so it's, it's much more difficult in many ways to predict the shape. And um, yeah, you can you, you can also with with a with a wing like this, they can predict what the um, lift distribution should be in the in the wing, and know that if the if the wing is set at certain angles, it will match that 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 curve. And, and what we've found performance-wise is, if we can if we can, and it's it, it's a it's actually a, a big challenge to be able to achieve. If we can set set the flaps on the performance numbers, the performance of the wing matches pretty much identically yeah. to what is predicted. So it's 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 a much it's a really interesting yeah. um, situation. So it gives you a great advantage.